welcome back to Majora's... Oh, crap. Mask. On the last episode, we ended up, uh, pretty much being able to get into the, the next temple here since we learned the Garam Lullaby. And oh my gosh, playing this again is very weird. Why do I say it's weird? Because I have not actually... I've been playing the remake. <gasps> that was smart. I've been playing the remake a lot, and the controls are... I don't want to say terribly different. Oh, man. As you can see how terribly out of practice I am now. Um, because the controls are very different, I am currently not used to using this anymore. Um, so, bear with me that I'm probably going to do pretty shitty to begin with. I'm just... Let me fight these things quickly to get used to the control. Uh, you know, screw you. I don't need you nearby. Um, yeah, I've mainly been playing the remake, and... The remake's controls are a lot more, um, how do I put this, smoother than this? I mean, it's, it's still not too bad to play, it's just I think the 3D version of this is so much easier, like, to control and everything. So, bear in mind that if I do, sh oh, if I do shitty for a little bit, it's because I'm getting used to this again. But either way, it looks like we're about to enter the second temple, which is awesome on the final day, which I wish it wasn't that way, but that's okay. Took a few hits there, but either way, let us enter Snowhead Temple. Alright. And already I can tell you quite a few things seem to have changed. Ah, uh, not really. We still have the white bows here. And if you just do some ground pound there, they're all gonna die. No! Uh, this is kind of big. It's gonna take more than ever since with this thing. So, you need to be Goron Link, which I think is kind of, um, <laughs> self-explanatory at that point. Uh, let's take care of this guy pretty quickly. Come on, attack me. This is the easiest way to do this. So, if you actually restarted the day, um, I've seen a couple of people end up doing this temple without, um, whatchamacallit, without a sword. Because that smithy we talked to, we were actually able to, um, yes, I meant to do that, don't worry. We were actually able to give our sword to him, and while we're in here exploring this dungeon, he could be getting us a new sword, but I didn't want to do that. By the way, Goron's immune to fire kind of makes sense because of the whole uh, From Death Mountain lovely thing. Man, I do not like having the, these few slots. Either way, if we went down here, took off our mask, uh, gives ourselves the lens of truth, the bow and arrow, and the great fairy's mask. Gotta get to these shells. Put on the great fairy's mask. If we use the lens of truth, we find out that the only spot that seems to be open in this section for this fairy is right here. Oh man, even the aiming is off a little bit. Excuse me for our terrible gameplay. There we go. You kind of need to have... This is kind of the um, setup you're going to need a lot through this dungeon to be able to grab some of the other hidden stray fairies. Man, I just gotta remember where all those stray fairies used to be. From playing the remake, I had noticed... Oh, wait a minute. They kind of changed the... Uh, placement of uh, like everything and I was like oh wow I kind of like how the new placement of the dungeon is but you know what this is still the classic this is still what I grew up with I still am going to love this new be careful about right here because those guys can freeze you so I'll just line this up which I'm having a terrible time lining up oh man oh man excuse me while I'm going to fail miserably for a while but you know what? You guys like seeing people fail, so woo! Anyway, I want to be able to beat this dungeon in this, like, one day, which I should be able to. I don't think it should be too hard to do, I just gotta stop messing up, pretty much. Alright, so, if you start way at the back here, you should be able to- there we go. I kinda had that little bit of running start. Am I gonna make it? Okay, good. No! Wow. Ugh. I have to say, the- or on roll controls are harder in this game. Ah, here I am having to like revert everything. Maybe I should be playing Majora's Mask 3D and this at the same time because I'd be yeah they're the same game. It's been helping me practice a little bit, but ah, uh, I forgot how rough the controls can be for this game sometimes. All right, so wait for him to blow ice. Blow ice. 
Blow ice! Please! Thank you. Once that you see that front one blow ice, you should be able to start rolling. Hopefully I can get it this time. Line up correctly. Hit that! That is a way that we stop, which is why it's placed there. It's awesome that it's placed there. And as you see, we have another stray fairy down there. So we are going to use our bow and arrow, hopefully, to hit it. Come on. Reveal yourself. Boom! Ah! And with just a first... Why did I switch to a Goron? Whatever. I still got it. Uh, I'm going to be messing up with the controls again. Alright, either way. Two stray fairies and just like a couple in just two rooms, which is kind of awesome. So if we go up these stairs here, we see a new enemy, which is a real bomb chew. Uh, so we always saw those little mechanical things. There's a stray fairy in here. Mechanical things, I should say. Actually, yeah, it's true. Mechanical things. But these are actual bomb chews. Um, if you attack it, it will just explode right at impact there. So it might not be a good idea. While we're here... Punching all these guys will give us some nice blue rupees. Thank you. That was weird. And the main reason coming here besides this stray fairy is to get the chest. And what is in this chest, you may ask? Well, you got the map. I still think we're going to do that every time. And as corny and as cheesy as that is, I just like saying it. I don't know why I like saying it. I just do. All right. So... Going back down the stairs. And uh, make sure you are Link for this. Oh, wow, they actually changed that. Never mind. Well, still, you know, only Link can jump. So let's go to the center room. And this is where we're going to be spending the majority of our time because this place is kind of massive, as you can see. It's like, oh, yay. This will be fun. And there's so many things to do, but you know what also is fun to do? To fall down. Oh, no! So, like I said before, I the fire. We see a giant switch down here. Oh, that was a little bit of a lag there. It could be just the Wii U trying to run it. I've also gotten a new TV, and I'm playing this, and everything is just, like, so much bigger and clearer for me. Come on, grab the stray fairy. And with that, we got our fourth stray fairy. And... Now you're probably wondering how we get back up there, are you not? Oh, we kind of have two rooms here. I don't quite remember how different this could be. Oh yeah, I didn't think this room existed before, but it looks like it actually does. Which we can't do much with it right now. But we are still going to uh, go back up this way, of course. As you see, it leads us back up to the center area here. And... I believe we are... Oh, <laughs> I believe, really, there's only one place to go. Of course, there's is only one unlocked. Unless we count this room here, which, honestly, might as well just unlock it. This leads back to the front door. Ooh, how did I miss that? Whatever. This leads back to the main entrance, in case you need to... Really? Thank you. It, the fire was hitting there. Why didn't it... Whatever, it doesn't matter. So, that will lead back to the main entrance if we need it, but we're not going there right now. We're gonna go right here. And we have a couple stray fairies in here, along with a few extra trinkets. Trinkets. I don't know why I said trinkets. Either way, pull this out as a Goron. We see that there's a chest back here. And what do we get for it? You get a key! I just love saying that. I don't know why. But, wait, there is more for this. I have to say, the first time playing through all these dungeons when I was a kid, I I was just felt under tremendous crap. Of course, it's lined up correctly. I was under tremendous strain on what I was supposed to do, and that ticking bomb—I I don't I don't want to say ticking bomb, but that ticking clock on the bottom there always kind of freaked me out a little bit. Cause like, oh gosh, oh gosh, we're on a time limit. I don't like to be on a time limit, but it's just that atmosphere there that made me love this game so much. Which is why I'm so excited about that remake and why I have it, and just, uh, it's, it's fun. It's fun. Either way, uh, we pushed that double block to the end of the hall that created a chest. We melted that door. So, what is it really left to do, you ask? Um, well, we go back through here. Like I said, we're at the main entrance again. So, oh my gosh, every time I try to record, 
I went the wrong way. No, I did not go the right way. So we ended up getting a key here, which is what we need to melt that red door. We can open through here, and we see, oh, what do you know, another chest. Why is my phone ringing? Uh, all right, I'll be right back in a second, guys. All right, sorry about that. It seems the phone always likes to ring. Either way, we got through that to that locked chest, and what do you know, here is another uh, thing for us. Which, you got the compass this time! I'm not sure I've really ever seen many, uh... I can, I can really talk today. I'm not sure I've really seen many dungeons that hold the, uh, compass and the key so close together. Either way, Fish could tell... Oh, what do you know? It's a bomb of a wall! And if we look up there, which is actually very hard to miss, time that just correctly, there is actually a stray fairy in there. Who would have guessed that there would actually be a stray fairy up on top of a random box up there? Um, I remember when I was first going through this dungeon, of course not uh, understanding most of the concepts and all the lovely little things in here. Um, I was always just wondering where the heck that last stray fairy was, and for some reason, that was the one that always gave me the most trouble. Really don't understand why it did, but it did nonetheless. Alright, so if we look up, we see that just like at the entrance to uh, the mountains, there's a ton of icicles just like they were outside. So what do you think we do with that? I think we break the ice! You can't see me right now, but I'm making one of those silly, stupid, pathetic little faces like, ha ha ha! I don't know that. Ugh, I hate that that does that. Um, I don't know. I just like acting weird with stuff like that. That little thumbs up guy I used a few episodes ago really made me laugh. And, yeah. Either way, make sure you break every single one here. I know it's a little time consuming, but it is well worth it. Especially since uh, the outer ones contain those red rupees, which, as you see, we really don't need many more rupees at this point. Because I believe our wallet can only hold 200 at that point. At this point. Ow. Yep. But, hmm. This is most clearly something hidden. So if we go in here, there is a... Come on. Can't believe I had to use a... Oh, thank you. Um, if we use the lens of truth, it would show us that there was a little bit of a secret here. But of course, I kind of showed you. But, just so you guys can fully see that, let's jump back out here. And if you put on the lens of truth, uh, yeah, put that right there. Keep pushing A. Hola! It's there. Either way, that was for our next stray fairy. I think that was our fifth one already. Or no, that was our sixth one, actually. Yeah, this actually turned out to be a pretty quick episode, which is fine. So I'm actually doing a little bit better this time than I initially thought I was. Change it to a Goron. And we open that, and what do you know, there's another chest with another key! Hallelujah! Get the key! Yeah! Gorons can't jump. And, for some reason, <laughs> just like the compass and the uh, key were so, or just like the compass and the map are so close together, we also had a key and a door that are very close together. And it looks like we have a small dungeon here, but just a quick little thing for us to do. Which, we're going to switch back to our Great Fairy Mask. Why? Because if we use the Lens of Truth, look up, see that? That was very hard for me to find, too. So, boom! We got another Stray Fairy here. And we'll put on the Great Fairy's Mask. And it should come to us, I hope. There it is! And just like that, we've got our seventh one. And believe it or not, we're already at the midpoint of this dungeon. I know, that sounds really ridiculous, doesn't it? But it looks like we have another nice little lovely block puzzle for us to do here. By block, I mean switch, of course. And believe it or not, I feel like this is going to be a fairly short episode, which I'm going to end it right here. So in the next episode, we will continue going further on into this dungeon. Until then, guys, this is Legendary China, signing off. See you guys later.